No. decided to get a boat and he just after that we went fishing out on the lakes and all and he decided that fishing for trout was enough so we, he upped his game and we went out salmon fishing on the sound and it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, when we were fishing we would usually see a lot of families out fishing for salmon as well. It's very popular in Washington um, especially in cities like Westport. Uh, Henry uh, there's no last name. Henry, uh, who was interviewed by Q13 Fox, uh, was quoted, well, that's what Westport's known for, the salmon capital of the world. Um, so they do a lot of charter boats, they have a lot of charter boats, and they go out and fish, and they have a lot of, that's how they make their money. And uh, this year's, uh, this year for fishing doesn't seem like it's gonna go well. The council, made up of the native tribes, around the area and the state have yet to come to an agreement on fishing terms. So today I'm gonna to tell you guys a little bit more about uh, what, what's going on between the council and the you know, tribes in the state, uh, why they're having disagreements, and then um, how that's going to affect us and other people and their families. Um, so the options right now that are open for the Council, the state regulators are looking at a couple. So most of them are limiting fishing right now, and it's mostly on like how big the fish can be before you have to release them. Like so, up to 24 inches, you have to release back into the wild. And then they're also looking at where they're restricting fishing in the rivers and in the sound, and then uh, how long they can fish and how many they can catch. Uh, and for recreational fishing, for like sport fishing, for like my father and I, it's the possible max would be two uh, salmon per day. But another option they're looking at is just complete cancellation of the salmon season this year. So that's going to hit some of the commercial fishing pretty hard. Um, the reasons why they can't come to an agreement is mainly because the population of the coho and chinook salmon returning each year is decreasing. Uh, this year is estimated at 256,000 coho returning, which is only one third of what was gonna, or one third of what was returning from last year. So the problem is sharing the harvest of fish this year, but having so little to share. So, or Tony Meyer, spokesman with the Northwest Indian Fishery Commissions, was quoted, this is a result of not taking care of the habitat. We have not, we have far fewer fish and negotiations get more difficult. So having less fish returning has affected a lot of negotiations and how they are going through with that. Um, so they're trying to boost, you know, the population of fish at the same time as being able to harvest some. But a lot of worries the state has as well is the methods the tribes use to catch their fish in the rivers, what they'll do is they'll take nets and stream them across, and a lot of the smaller fish that get through the nets are all beat up, and that's kind of what's left for all the fishermen afterwards. So there's a lot of dis disagreement on who gets a fish where and how long, and the methods they use to catch the fish. Um, so now, how this affects us, well, first, it's going to affect the families in places like Westport, where their main income is based off salmon fishing. Um, Henry, who lives in Westport, uh, he was quoted, the price will get really high for salmon where people can't afford it. So because they have less fish to catch, they have less, less fish to sell. Therefore, they have to raise the price. And for us, that means that we have a harder time buying salmon is like we're not gonna be able to buy as much and then they won't be able to make as much so their families are gonna suffer because they don't have as much to earn this year. Um, the, the final decision has yet to be made though by the council and many families are waiting in anticipation hoping that there's at least some type of fishing season this year for at least commercial fishers, fishermen. Um, 
on the other hand, for recreational fishing, for sport fishing, like for my father and I, there's a high chance there's not going to be any fishing at all. So, until that update, that's, you guys know what's going on. Oh, how?